little sprouts, let's enjoy this winter tale called Snow Friends by Christina Butler and Tina McNaughton. Snow Friends Little Bear woke early from his deep winter sleep. As he yawned and stretched, he looked out of the bear cave and gasped. The world was covered with a thick white blanket sparkling in the sunshine. Oh, he cried, snow, and he raced out to play. Little Bear went rolling and skidding down the hillside, racing faster and faster. He rushed through the trees, shaking the branches to make tiny white snowstorms. He stomped and stamped in the crunchy snow, making trails of footprints that circled and twirled. Little Bear climbed up a hill and gazed out at the whiteness. The mountains and forest were still and silent. He looked around for someone to play with, but he couldn't see anyone anywhere. Hello, he cried. Hello, hello, came back his echo. But no one else replied. Little Bear was all alone. Oh dear, he sighed. If only I had someone to play with. And he fell with a plop into a big snow drift. But then Little Bear had an idea. He began to make a snowball, bigger and bigger if I make a really big snowball, he thought, I could build a snowman, and then I would have someone to play with. So he rolled and rolled a shiny round snowman body until it was nearly as big as he was. Little Bear was so busy with his snowball that he didn't see Otter swimming across the lake. Hello, cried Otter, racing up. What are you doing? I'm making a snowman, the best snowman ever, replied Little Bear. Wow, said Otter, that sounds like fun. Can I help? That would be great, said Little Bear. So they pushed and they puffed until they couldn't roll the snowball any farther. Little Bear and Otter stopped for a rest, but just then they heard a muffled voice. Hey, what's going on? It cried, everything's gotten dark. <gasps> My snowball's talking, squeaked Little Bear. <laughs> no, laughed Otter. The noise is underneath, quick. And together they pushed as hard as they could until the big snowball creaked away to one side. A rabbit popped up from his burrow. Who turned off the light, he said crossly. Sorry, said Little Bear, we're building the best snowman ever. And it got stuck on top of your burrow, giggled Otter. Funny snowman, said Rabbit, laughing. It doesn't have a head. We haven't made his head yet, said Little Bear. You can help if you'd like. So Rabbit helped to make the snowman's head and gave him a big, happy smile. Then Otter went back to the river for some sticks. Little Bear found a few nuts left in his winter store. Rabbit picked out the very best carrot from his pantry. They built the snowman together, with Otter's sticks for arms and the nuts from Little Bear's store for the eyes. Finally, Rabbit climbed onto Little Bear's shoulders and pushed the carrot nose in place. Otter laughed and cheered. Hooray! The best snowman ever was finished. For the rest of the day, they played with the snowman in the snow. They played hide and seek and chase, and huge snowball fights left them giggling and gasping for breath. At last, as the sky turned orange and the sun set, the three friends talked about what games they would play the next day. Let's go exploring, said Rabbit. But what about Snowman, said Little Bear. We can't leave him all on his own. Let's build him a friend then, said Otter. 
So they rolled and patted and shaped some more until they made the perfect little snowman. By the time they had finished, the stars were twinkling in the sky, tired and happy. They crashed in a heap and watched with wonder as the snowman and his friend turned to silver in the moonlight. He's the best snowman in the world, whispered Little Bear. And he'll never be lonely now that he has a friend, said Otter. Yes, Rabbit smiled, just like us. Friends, building a snowman can be such a fun, wonderful winter activity. What is your favorite winter activity?